Commence the docking maneuver. While surveying Rollick Islands, we made a discovery that will change the world as we know it. The Tower of Caddo. It caused the apocalypse 3,000 years ago. Inside the tower is a vast machine which could generate a force field strong enough to pull the moon from its original orbit of 50,000 kilometers around the Earth. We all know how devastating the consequences would be. Do you think humanity itself caused the catastrophe with this machine? Exactly, but the true intent of whoever built this machine is unclear. Unbelievable. Our scientists have been examining the machine to understand its powerful energy without any success. This ancient technology is superior to our own and amazingly still intact after 3,000 years. Intact, you say? That means the machine is still a potential danger to us? You said it. This machine could destroy civilization again. Whoever has a weapon based on this technology is invincible. It will be decades before we can build one ourselves. You're talking about weapons? But of course our enemies will not wait. The tower could fall into their hands. So I say we prepare an immediate preemptive strike. I see. What do you propose? Dr. Fornaus believes we could take control of this machine in order to target the forces of the moon. Against the territory of our enemies. Are you crazy? In three weeks, the moon will be in a favorable position. We could sink the Nauten's coastal areas into the sea. This is outrageous! The admirals are alarmed over Karak's plans and want to strip him of his command. But Karak's troops have already occupied strategically important parts of the island. Any resistance would be crushed mercilessly. Deputy Lura narrowly escapes an attack. On the run, she manages to steal Karak's key, which could set the machine in motion. Along with a gang of smugglers, she sets out in search of the Tower of Kato to destroy the machine. Karak and his men give chase. They were faster than I thought they would be. Oleg! Fire on the engines! Uh, the pistons are still stuck, give me ten minutes. We don't even have one minute! We need that key, otherwise we'd just blow them to pieces. Such a pity. A real shame. You'll have your fun soon enough, my friend. <laughs> so, Colonel, connect me to the bridge. Yes, Admiral. Captain, the Admiral wants to talk to you. Admiral, the guns are ready to fire. What is your command? Disable the ship. Be sure to aim at their rear. Fire! Oh, you need a kick in the ass, you piece of shit! <laughs> that should do it. Clear the ship of those rabble and find the key. Attention! Every hunter! Shoot anything that moves! Roger! The fourth gas tank is down! We're losing altitude! And the stern rudder is down. We're barely maneuverable. All men to the cannons. We need to return fire. Do you have a grappling hook launcher? Up on the lookout. Why? What is it you want aboard? We're hopelessly outnumbered by them. And when will you board her at last? Shut up, Yuri. Yeah. I don't know how I did it, but the machine is running again. That's certainly good news. Am I the only one who's pleased by this? Full speed ahead. Maybe we can make it over the mountain range. The tower will give us coverage. Unheard of! Admiral, 
give us a command to blow the hell out of them. Return fire! We'll see who has the longest cannon here. Seize fire, you idiots! Don't shoot the tower! Hunters, back in formation! Finish them off! Gaining altitude again. I'll go down in history with this maneuver. 